So before we move on from absolute value, um, let's say a few words about inequalities. Okay? Um, so the, the simplest type of inequality that you encounter in the calculus course are the linear inequalities, right? So something like minus 3x plus 4 is less than, let's say, 2. Okay? So there's a, there's a typical linear inequality. Um, so basic rules for inequalities say, well, you can always add something to both sides of the inequality that doesn't affect things, right? So the first thing that you might do here, add or subtract, right? It's nice to get all the numbers on one side. So you might decide, hey, let's, let's subtract 4. Subtract 4 from both sides, right? 4 minus 4, they cancel out. Minus 3x is less than. So 2 subtract 4, minus 2. Okay. Um, now the one mistake you got to watch out for, right? The thing, the mistake that people tend to make um, here is, is in division. Now you are also allowed to multiply and divide both sides of inequality um, by any number except 0, right? You can never divide by 0, but also multiplying both sides by 0 destroys the inequality. And also it would lead you with nonsense, right? If you multiply both sides by 0, you just get 0 is less than 0. That's not true, right? But any other number you can throw in. In particular, you might decide that you want to divide both sides by minus 3 to get rid of that minus 3 and solve for x. But you got to watch out, right? Because if you divide or multiply by a negative number, it flips that thing around. So you got to be careful. Um, one way to see that is, is, you know, there's, there's, you can divide by minus 3, divide by minus 3, as long as you remember that that's going to flip the sign, and that's going to leave you with x bigger than those negatives cancel, 2 thirds, okay? So that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is you could you know, rather than doing it like that, you could say, hey, let's move the 2 to that side, move the 3x to that side, right? Because you never have to worry about, you know, negatives when you're adding and subtracting. So if I add 2 to both sides, now I've got a 2 on the left. If I add 3x to both sides, I have 3x on the right. And I'm allowed to divide by 3. 3 is a positive number. And I get 2 thirds less than x. Um, those are the same thing, right? Two-thirds less than x is the same statement as x is bigger than two-thirds. Those are equivalent. Um, now, you might find yourself having to deal with absolute value inequalities. Okay. Um, you'll especially find yourself having to deal with absolute value inequalities if you're in a calculus course that covers the precise definition of the limit, okay? There are lots of inequalities involving absolute values because they're part of the definition of the limit. If you're going through that formal um, epsilon delta definition of the limit, you're going to see a lot of inequalities with absolute values. Um, so there are two basic rules. Okay. And, and remember that we're thinking of absolute value in terms of distance, right? Um, so if I say that absolute value of A is less than B, okay? Um, where B here is a, is a positive real number. What does that mean? Well, remember that absolute value is distance from 0 to x, right? So if I say that, so if I say something like the absolute value of x is less than, let's say, 4, what am I telling you? Well, I'm telling you that, that x is, you know, the distance from 0 to x is no bigger than 4. And that means that all the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4 units, right? It's not to scale. Um, all right. So all the numbers from here to there, but not including 4, those are included. Those all have a distance from 0 that's less than 4. Um, but that's not all the numbers, right? Because I could also go 4 units to the left and get to minus 4, right? 
that would also work, right? So, so this turns out to be the same thing as saying that x is between minus 4 and 4. And it turns out that this is, this is true in general. This is the same thing as saying minus b is less than a is less than b, okay? So a is somewhere between minus b and b. Uh, and of course, this remains true if you replace less than by less than or equal, okay? The other one is, well, what if it's the other way around? What if we have absolute value of a bigger than b? What does that mean? Well, that means, you know, let's come back to this example, right? What if I turned it around and said, okay, I want all the values of x where the absolute value is bigger than 4, right? That means the distance from 0 has to be more than 4, right? So I'm not including these numbers. In fact, I'm including everything else. So it's everything outside that interval. So that would mean everything that's bigger than 4 or smaller than minus 4, right? So this would be the same as saying that a is bigger than b or a is less than minus b, okay? And again, if you have equals, equals there, right? In terms of intervals, that means that you're doing, here you'd be going from minus b to b. Here, this is one of these places where you need union, right? This is going to be from b to infinity, but also from minus infinity to minus b, okay? Um, the context that you're probably going to see a lot is you're going to be measuring the distance between two numbers. So you're going to, you're going to have a lot of things where you have to rewrite something like absolute value of x minus 3 is less than 2. Okay, that's going to come up. Something like this comes up quite a bit. Um, so first step, apply this rule, right? Think of this x minus 3 as your a. Think of this as a single unit. 2 is your b. So we're going to get minus 2 less than x minus 3 less than 2. Okay, so now you've got one of these compound inequalities. That's fine. Um, you can add something to each part of a compound inequality. And in particular, the thing that we want to add, we want to get rid of that minus 3. So we add a 3. So minus 2 plus 3 becomes 1 less than x less than 2 plus 3, which is 5, right? So those are the two steps for solving this sort of inequality. Um, the other thing that might complicate things is there might be a coefficient out front, right? But you handle that the same way you handled it in the, in the linear case. <clears throat>